while we are taking a second to get in our spot, we are very excited. I know you guys have had a lot of choirs this year come to sing for you, and um, that's kind of a special thing. We had This is our third time that we've had a choir in chapel. Um, but we're just really excited to show you a little bit about our high school program and some of the songs that have been really important to us. We are going to start with a piece that is straight from scripture, which is just like our spring concerts, right? Singing scripture. This is in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. singing a lot of different songs for you this morning. Um, this next one that we're going to sing is also just straight from scripture. So boys and girls, you know because of what we've been working on in music class that singing scripture is really important to us. And why is that? You know, sometimes you might be in the middle of the night and you wake up and you have this st song stuck on your head. Maybe it's Baby Shark, right? No, not that one. Something like that, but something that just is going over and over and over again in your mind. And what better is it to have the Bible to be going over and over again in your mind? That's the reason why we have worked on our scripture songs that we're singing in the concert. This is Seek First the Kingdom. <laughs> See how he feeds the birds. See how 
how he tends the flocks. Will he not care, not care for his children more than he cares for thee? Thank you for having us today. Um, the next piece we are going to sing is called He is Marvelous. And uh, this is just a song that we've been working on for a little bit. And it's just so amazing to hear the words, He is Marvelous, and sing it over and over again because Jesus is wonderful and we should give him the glory and praise in all things. Thank you. Oh 
song is one of our favorites and I just want to take a quick second just to really communicate what these words say you know boys and girls sometimes well a lot of times it's a, a lot of the time in our lives we might feel like we are alone right so maybe um, grandma or grandpa are sick or mom and dad or I mean there's a lot of situations we've even seen sickness even in our elementary or maybe um, there's a divorce in our family or, or maybe someone has passed away, or maybe you're just at school and you feel like you have no friends. You feel like you see this group of friends and you see this group of friends, but you don't feel like you're a part of that and you feel so alone. It happens in our lives, oftentimes we feel that way. This song is so important because it just says one line over and over and over again that says, we are not alone. We are not alone. God is with us. And I encourage these students when they sing it, don't ever sing it the same way. It, it can be a little bit repetitive, but I hope that this goes into your heart and you can remember this. And when you're at home and you're sad and you feel like, or you're out on the playground, you feel like you don't have any friends or something hard is happening in your life, that you can remember that you are not alone. If Jesus is in your heart, he will always be your closest and your best friend and companion. We are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone. We are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are never alone, we are not alone, we are never alone, God is with us, God is with us ever and ever, we are never alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are never alone, we are not alone, we are never alone, God is with us, God is with us ever and ever, we are never alone, are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, we are not alone, we are not alone, God is with us, we are not alone, God is with us now. Okay, are you ready for a weird song? This is a weird song. 
I'm gonna, let me explain this to you because it is a weird song. It's slow, it's called a hymn. It's actually called a hymn of Axiom. You gotta kind of track with me for a second because this is a weird one. Usually the music that we sing is um, Christian music or like I told you about, um, it's, it's biblical text. This one is not. It's called a hymn. A hymn is typically a piece that um, involves something that we worship. So this piece is called the hymn of Axiom. What is Axiom? You're not gonna know this, but Axiom is like a data mining company. Weird, right? And what this is talking about, this is talking about social media. So this is talking about, um, you know, maybe your parents or your older brother and sisters or, you know, maybe some of our older kids even have like Facebook or they have Instagram or what are the other ones? Snapchat, hopefully not. What else? Yeah, it's a little, all right? So maybe they have one of these things. And, and what this Axiom company does, it goes, oh, she clicked on a pair of boots. She must really like boots. I'm going to show her boots every time she looks at it. Or she um, really likes... Taylor Swift, so every single time she goes on her social media, she's gonna see a Taylor Swift song, right? So it can be something like that, it's kind of a goofy thing. But what it talks about is, in the world, media is trying to get a hold of us. They're trying to control the things that we like. And even, even not media, maybe it's a Minecraft, or maybe it's Roblox, maybe it's something that you start to play on a phone and you're obsessed. And the second you get home, you're like, I have got to get back on Roblox, or I have to get back on Minecraft, or whatever it might be. This is what is trying to control your attentions. And in this song, it talks about um, somebody hears you, you know that, you know, somebody sees what you like and they're gonna try to make you like it more. Um, someone is learning all the things you like. And then at the end of the song, we kind of start to see that that has taken over our hearts or that taken over our life. And this is really a warning song. It's really so slow and it's really soft. And it's almost a little bit creepy. And at the end of it, it says, amen. Amen really just means so be it, right? So it's kind of giving it over to these things. And this is a lesson to you. This stuff is not important. When we get to heaven, there's not gonna be Minecraft, or Roblox, or Facebook, or social media, it's gone, right? The only thing that matters is your relationship with Christ. As soon as we're done singing this song, we're gonna go into a song that talks really about what matters, and that's how great thou art, right? When we say how great thou art, we're saying it to God. We're not saying it to the stuff that we think is cool and the gross stuff here on earth. We're saying how great God is. And if God is the one that you worship, if God is the focus of your hymn, right, then that is where true joy and contentment is. So we're gonna sing hymn of axiom right into how great thou art.
eyes. What you want.
how great thou art, right? We are going to sing one more song before our chapel is over. And I'm actually going to ask our honor choir if you would come up and join us on stage. I didn't really tell them that they would do this, but come on, <laughs> ladies. Come on, men. Um, I, I hope you guys know, especially you fourth graders coming in, you guys can go on stage and you guys can kind of find a spot with some of our singers up there. Um, you guys want, yep, go ahead. Go around the piano and go up on the stairs. But for fourth grade, Honor Choir was a blast this year. And I don't know if all of you elementary students know, but our Honor Choir went and competed at Disneyland this last weekend. And out of like eight or nine schools, they were the only school that got a gold rating. So that's pretty impressive. What do you think about that high school? <laughs> Guys, come on up. High school, invite them. Make some room. Guys, keep going over here. El hey, Honor Choir. Honor Guys, come up here. Come up front. Come up front. Go up front. Go up front. Go up front. Go up front. There we go, come on up front, fill in. You guys can even stand on the risers if you want. Silas, go stand by one of the boys. Okay, we are going to sing our very last song, which is Revelation 19. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. Let's do it. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. The Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. For the Lord our God is mighty, and the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty, and the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is one. Stop clapping. 
That was awesome. You gave him like a silver clap. Then you did a gold clap. Like, way to go. That was awesome. Hopefully your hearts have been stirred, excited, and you're ready to honor and worship the Lord today. Continue in your actions and your words. What a blessing it is to have such a choir that is blossoming and growing on this campus. So be involved as you can. But either way, we're worshipers wherever the Lord placed us. What a great day to make it a great day for God. Lock your eyeballs on your teachers. You're dismissed.